Dear President Biden, Vice President Harris, and members of the 117th Congress, you have inherited a demoralized and fractured nation. It is hard to see a way forward when so many citizens distrust each other, even resorting to violence. May the God of all nations bless you with wisdom, courage, and the desire for justice. This past year reminds me of the Israelites wandering in the wilderness, a place of testing, division, and conflict. The wilderness period was a time of countless failures and missteps, intransigence and denial. Worst of all was the Israelites' stubbornness in their desire to return to Egypt, the place of their enslavement when faced with the physical challenges and difficult truths of the wilderness. America's pandemic wilderness offers its own set of painful truths. The knee of white supremacy continues to crush the lives of black men and women. Under the thumb of human supremacy, the climate responds with devastating consequences. Ignorant, hate-filled rhetoric can lead to violence to the point of dismantling our democracy. The coronavirus has exposed the multiple pandemics of racism, poverty, polarizing division, and environmental degradation. The pressing question today is, do we try to go back to business as usual of pre-pandemic days? Or do we move forward toward a more just, equitable, and environmentally sound future? At the end of their 40-year plight in the wilderness, Moses implored the Israelites saying, remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt. Remember the long way the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness. Such remembrance was meant to ensure that out of experience and empathy, we would protect the most vulnerable. May we remember the year 2020 confirmed how vulnerable all of us are, but some more than others, from essential workers to communities of color. Let us not forget, as we move toward America's promise that the pursuit of happiness is to be shared by all in a land that flourishes, the wilderness included. Sincerely, William Patrick Brown.